This is the NBC News station providing all residents of Boston providing news and information. Recently, the United States Geological Survey has found that an aurora could possibly be displaying over the skies of Boston at around 10 8 p.m. This will be a once in a blue moon event so do not miss it. There are already an enormous amount of people waiting in fields to watch this beautiful rare supernatural event. To have the best experience. You must bring your favorite food and drinks, as well as a towel, to lie down and look at this beautiful aurora. If you desire to take photos bring a good quality camera with you, to think this event as memorable as possible. It is also speculated that this aurora will last for about 7 hours, so bring some drinks that may have caffeine to keep yourself awake and so you can have fun all night. However, don't bring too many drinks as indulging in too much caffeine is highly detrimental to your overall health. This is a time to let loose of this event. So do whatever you can to have as much fun as possible for the entire night. If you know anyone that hasn't heard about this event, inform them now, invite as many friends as you can, tell your family about it, get everyone to know about this event so they don't miss this event that happens only once in a blue moon, literally. Start preparing for this event now, as this event happens in less than 5 hours from now. This is all the news we have for today. More information can be found on the United States Geological Survey website. This is Paul, signing off for now. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Boston Police Department. As soon as the aurora displayed over the city of Boston, there have been countless amounts of people that started attacking each other for no apparent reason. Some people have also acquired knives and swords and as a result, around 1200 people have been seriously injured and about 370 people have died in Fielder Field, Billings Field, and Orton Field. It is unknown what these attackers are off doing right now, but police forces are currently being dispatched to find the individuals that were attacking and killing others. Riots have also been reported over the streets of Boston due to the massacre that was taking place in the targeted fields. If you spot a rioter destroying or defacing properties that belong to other individuals, please contact the Boston Police Department so that the police can deal with the situation. Do not participate in the riots. If you do, you will be arrested and possibly charged for thousands of dollars. At this time, you are advised to stay inside your homes at all times. Police forces will be looking for these individuals. Anyone caught outside will be tagged and might mistaken you for an attacker. It is unknown what made the people go homicidal, but it is speculated that it might have something to do with the Aurora event. But this cannot be confirmed at this time. Almost nothing is known about this event but the government of Boston will look into this situation a bit better. Stay tuned to local outlets for further information on this mysterious and known event.
the following message is being transmitted at the request of the Boston Police Department. This is an update regarding an ongoing mysterious situation. Just about a few minutes ago, there was an explosion with a few buildings in Boston. The cause of this was from one of the individuals that were attacking anyone they see in their path. It was known that they had knives and swords acquired, but now they have acquired grenades and explosive weapons. If you see an individual destroying buildings, assassinating other citizens, or exploding homes and buildings, report it to your local police station immediately so that the police can neutralize the situation. There are currently 106 confirmed individuals that are considered hostile. Anyone that comes in contact with one of these individuals should defend themselves with any means necessary. Reporting any hostile individuals really helps out a lot. Doing this make the city of Boston safer and will be truly appreciated. It is still unknown why these individuals are acting very erratically, but further investigation will be continued as time goes on. So far, around 4,800 deaths have been reported, and another 7,800 injuries have also been reported. Staying indoors is extremely paramount at this time. Stay indoors will make your survival almost certain. At the moment, keep a close eye out for any individuals that can be potentially hostile. By doing so, you may make it easier for the Boston Police Department to neutralize the whole unknown and mysterious situation. Stay tuned to local outlets for further information on this unknown event. Welcome back to the NBC News Station. This is an update regarding an ongoing situation regarding this Aurora. About an hour ago, it has been found that the Aurora has been causing these people to drive into a state of homicidal tendencies. The Aurora hides millions of green molecules that no one knows about. These molecules are so powerful that they can hijack the brain of a victim. Anyone that has been affected will be taken in by the police and will be located to a mental therapy and will be questioned about its symptoms, intentions, and how the victim views the world. If you know anyone that has been acting very strangely, you should turn them into your local police station immediately. If someone looks at the Aurora for more than 10 seconds they will lose all of their sanity within a matter of 72 hours. If you have looked at the Aurora for more than 10 seconds, Turn yourself into the police immediately. The police will direct you to a mental therapy session without any charges. Remember, they can only help you pass through your struggles if you open up your problems to them. If you choose to tell the therapist the symptoms you're not actually dealing with, they may not be able to help you. So please let them help you pass through the troubles you're going through. This is the NBC News Station, signing off for now. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the government of Boston. It has been found that the Aurora has been causing these people to drive into a state of homicidal tendencies. The Aurora hides millions of green molecules that no one knows about. These molecules are so powerful that they can hijack the brain of a victim. Anyone that has been affected will be taken in by the police and will be located to a mental therapy and will be questioned about its symptoms, intentions, and how the victim views the world. At least 12,000 people have died from incidents of hostile individuals, and 40,000 have gotten injured. If you know anyone that has been acting very strangely, you should turn them into your local police station immediately. If someone looks at the Aurora for more than 10 seconds they will lose all of their sanity within a matter of 72 hours. If you have looked at the Aurora for more than 10 seconds, turn yourself into the police immediately. The police will direct you to a mental therapy session without any charges. Remember, they can only help you pass through your struggles if you open up your problems to them. If you choose to tell the therapist the symptoms you're not actually dealing with, 
they may not be able to help you. So please let them help you pass through the troubles you're going through. At this time, lock all doors and windows immediately. This will dismiss whatever intentions a hostile individual would have on your house. At this time your safety is our number one priority. So please stay indoors at all times. Stay tuned to local outlets for further information on this extremely dangerous situation. The following is an audio transcript of an attempted therapy session with one of the affected people from the aura. The name of the therapist and the patient have been censored for privacy reasons. This file has been requested to be kept confidential for the next seven days by the source of this file. Anyone who tries to leave this recorded session out into the public will be charged at possibly thousands of dollars. Hello. I will be your therapist for today. I will ask you a few questions, and I will see what I can do to help you. First off, why don't you tell me how you are feeling right now? Well, I guess, I feel alright. Are you sure you are alright? Because I was told you blew up an entire building. Yes, I'm sure. Right. So, can you explain why you decided to blow up a full building? I don't even know. I can only help you if choose to tell me the truth. You are not helping your case by hiding the truth. Can you just please spill the beans and let me be able to help you? I can't help you if I don't know your situation. Okay, fine. So this aurora looked so beautiful and majestic and I just didn't want anything to ruin the moment and, I don't know after about 15 seconds of staring at this aurora, I just had thoughts of killing others because everyone was yelling and I got really annoyed so I decided to kill everyone in my sight. After I killed all of them, I just realized that I really hate everyone in society. So I decided to kill a big chunk of people to make the process of killing everyone in that lives in the city faster. You just have to realize what you are doing is very selfish. You're killing the lives of hundreds or even thousands by doing that. Have you ever though about them instead of you? Are you trying to say that I cannot be happy? No, what I am trying to say is that... No, 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 no. That's it, I'm done with this bull... I am out of here. We come back. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the government of Boston. The phenomenon regarding the aurora has intensified by a big number. There are now at least 122,000 instances of people getting attacked by these hostile people that are now unofficially being referred as aurora entities. Aurora entities have dangerous aspects such as pale skin, light green eyes, canine attributes, and weird movements. If you see anyone showing even just one of these symptoms, Call 911 immediately. These Aurora entities cannot be cured by just any sort of mental therapy, as nearly every therapy session an Aurora entity would have would go horribly wrong with some even involving the murder of many therapists. No procedure has been found to turn Aurora entities back to normal civilians. At the moment, our only way to deal with this situation is to trap these Aurora entities into solitary confinement rooms until there is a known way to turn an Aurora entity back to normal. Your local government is currently trying to develop some medicine to try and cure the mind of an affected victim of this Aurora. If there is delays of when the medicine gets distributed across Boston, then killing the victims will have to be a lethal way to handle the situation as keeping these victims in solitary confinement rooms for long periods of time can produce unwanted effects to the host's mind. 
However, it is unlikely that this will be the case. For unknown reasons, the aurora is still displaying over the city of Boston and is currently expanding into other neighboring states, even though this event was supposed to end six hours ago. It is unknown if this will cause a major problem to the whole globe, but that cannot be confirmed at this time. Stay tuned to local outlets for further information on this highly dangerous situation. This officer Jacob I have possibly detected a potential aurora entity and I think he is about to do something. Does the suspect have any weapons such as knives, guns, explosives? Uh, I see a handle of a tool poking out of the suspect's pocket. I don't know for sure if it is a knife or some sort but I'm pretty sure that is a knife due to the victim's abnormalities. What is the victim doing now? Well right now it looks like the suspect is sprinting towards a building right now. I don't know what intentions the suspect has in its mind right now but I imagine it's nothing good at all. Although I can't really confirm that right now because it's not really guaranteed that the suspect has any weapons right now. Hey. There are many continuing explosions going off right now. This is Officer Jacob requesting heavy b- Hello? The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This phenomenon regarding the aurora has worsened by a huge amount. The aurora has spread into other neighboring states. These states include, Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. If you are in any of these states, please take action for the following steps. Grab some essential supplies that can last for at least 14 days. There is no sign that this situation will end anytime soon. As a matter of fact, this looks like this is only the beginning due to how fastly the situation is intensifying. Because of this, obtaining, all food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a cell phone, batteries, and a battery powered radio you have is extremely paramount. It is unknown when this situation is going to completely fade away which is why we are shutting down all businesses until further notice. However, supermarkets and pharmacies will remain open for the time being. If this phenomenon keeps increasing in cases, we will also have to shut down supermarkets and pharmacies for the time being as well. So far at least 1,124,000, and cases are expected to continue rising at rapid rate as time goes on. More information can be found on the United States government website. Stay tuned to local outlets for further information on this highly dangerous situation.
The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. If you have a television device, destroy it immediately. There have been many incidents of televisions displaying really disturbing videos of people getting killed in very gruesome and terrifying ways. And as a result, around 25% of people who have watched these videos have committed suicide. The other 75% of others have had really bad cases of paranoia, thinking that there is always someone watching him. These people have died from more aura entities around one hour to two hours later. The television seems to be playing a little funny. It has been speculated that these televisions have been getting tracked by these aurora entities. And that's how the aurora entities have found them. To make sure this doesn't happen to you, you must destroy any TV you have in your house. This is the most effective way to not get affected by the televisions. Because of the aurora, do not let anyone in for any reason, even if it is a friend or a family member. They are putting their own lives in danger for being outside and letting them in might only make your situation more worse as being quiet is very important. If you can, try finding a room that has no view of the outside world until further notice. Doing this will eliminate your chances of being affected by this event Alice. Doing anything you can to keep yourself safe. Stay tuned to local outlets for further information on this highly dangerous situation. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Canadian government. This a very life-threatening emergency. Around 30 minutes ago, there have been many cases of people getting turned into these zombie-like creatures when looking at the aurora. These people seem to have some sort of weird movements, and they seem to be strong but slow. The infected people are capable of lifting at least 6 tons. There have also been many cases of televisions broadcasting some really disturbing message, images, and videos of people getting tortured in a variety of gruesome ways. Some people that have viewed these images and videos have committed suicide due to how disturbing the videos were. We strongly advise you to destroy any television inside of your house as a safety precaution so you don't experience these disturbing broadcasts. If you see a zombie in your house, run away immediately. These zombies were last seen body slamming individuals they saw in their path. The people that were body slammed, had guts and blood exploding out of their body, and as a result, they died. To minimize the chances of you getting seen by these creatures, you must lock yourself in a room containing no windows or anything that will expose you to the outside world. Bring essential supplies that will last you for at least 14 days as well as a battery-powered radio to keep you informed on updates regarding this event. If you refuse to follow any of these instructions, you are putting your life and others in extreme danger as activities that pertains noise can attract these zombies over to you. Location Until further notice, stay alert, stay aware, and stay safe. <laughs> Le message suivant est transmis à la demande du gouvernement canadien. Il s'agit d'une urgence vitale. Il y a environ 30 minutes, de nombreuses personnes ont été transformées en créatures zombiesques en regardant les aurores. Ces personnes semblent avoir des mouvements bizarres, être fortes mais lentes. Les personnes infectées sont capables de soulever au moins 6 tonnes. Il y a également eu de nombreux cas où les télévisions ont diffusé des messages, des images et des vidéos vraiment dérangeants montrant des personnes torturées de diverses manières horribles. Certaines personnes qui ont regardé ces images et ces vidéos se sont suicidées en raison de leur caractère dérangeant.
Nous vous conseillons vivement de détruire toute télévision à l'intérieur de votre maison par mesure de précaution afin de ne pas être confronté à ces émissions dérangeantes. Si vous voyez un zombie chez vous, fuyez immédiatement. Ces zombies ont été vus pour la dernière fois en train de frapper au corps les personnes qu'ils voyaient sur leur chemin. Les personnes qui ont été frappées ont eu les tripes et le sang qui ont explosé de leur corps et sont mortes. Pour minimiser les risques d'être vues par ces créatures, vous devez vous enfermer dans une pièce sans fenêtre ni rien qui puisse vous exposer au monde extérieur. Apportez des fournitures essentielles qui vous dureront au moins 14 jours ainsi qu'une radio à pile pour vous tenir informé des mises à jour concernant cet événement. Si vous refusez de suivre l'une de ces instructions, vous mettez votre vie et celle des autres en danger, car les activités bruyantes peuvent attirer les zombies jusqu'à vous. Jusqu'à nouvel ordre, restez vigilants, conscients et en sécurité. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the United States government. The aurora has spread it almost everywhere in the entire country. As a result, the USA border has been overwhelmed with the amount of aurora entities in the United States. The only two available solutions to survive are evacuating the United States and staying in an underground shelter. If neither of these steps are available, your death is almost certain with a chance of a 90% death rate. If you're going to choose to evacuate, you must take action for the following steps. 1. Gather all of your essential supplies. These supplies include food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a cell phone, batteries, cash or valid credit card, valid ID, and a battery-powered radio for your evacuation journey. 2. Get to an airline as soon as possible. 3. When you're on a plane, do not open your plane shaders. If you are going in an underground shelter as a safety step, take action for the following instructions. 1. Grab food, water, clothing, medical supplies, a cell phone. El siguiente mensaje se transmite a petición del gobierno mexicano. Esta es una emergencia muy peligrosa para la vida. Hace unos 30 minutos, ha habido muchos casos de personas que se convierten en estas criaturas parecidas a zombies cuando miran la aurora. Estas personas parecen tener algún tipo de movimientos extraños, y parecen ser fuertes pero lentos. Las personas infectadas son capaces de levantar al menos 6 toneladas. También se han dado muchos casos de televisiones que emiten mensajes, imágenes y videos realmente perturbadores de personas siendo torturadas de diversas formas horripilantes. Algunas personas que han visto estas imágenes y videos se han suicidado debido a lo perturbadores que eran. Le recomendamos encarecidamente que destruya cualquier televisor dentro de su casa como medida de seguridad para que no experimente estas emisiones perturbadoras. Si ve un zombie en su casa, huya inmediatamente. Estos zombies fueron vistos por última vez golpeando a las personas que veían a su paso. Las personas que fueron golpeadas, tenían vísceras y sangre explotando fuera de su cuerpo, y como resultado, murieron. Hasta ahora, se han registrado al menos 17.000 casos en las últimas dos horas. Para minimizar las posibilidades de que te vean estas criaturas, debes encerrarte en una habitación sin ventanas ni nada que te exponga al mundo exterior. Lleve provisiones esenciales que le duren al menos 14 días, así como una radio a pilas para mantenerse informado de las novedades sobre este suceso. Si se niega a seguir cualquiera de estas instrucciones, estará poniendo su vida y la de los demás en grave peligro, ya que las actividades ruidosas pueden atraer a estos zombies hasta su ubicación. 
Hasta nuevo aviso. Manténgase alerta y a salvo. A mensagem a seguir está sendo transmitida a pedido do governo brasileiro. Trata-se de uma emergência com grande risco de vida. Há cerca de 10 minutos, houve muitos casos de pessoas que se transformaram em criaturas semelhantes a zumbis ao olhar para a aurora. Essas pessoas parecem ter algum tipo de movimento estranho e parecem ser fortes, mas lentas. As pessoas infectadas são capazes de levantar pelo menos 6 toneladas. Também houve muitos casos de televisores transmitindo mensagens, imagens e vídeos realmente perturbadores de pessoas sendo torturadas de várias maneiras horríveis. Algumas pessoas que assistiram a essas imagens e vídeos cometeram suicídio devido à perturbação causada pelos vídeos. Recomendamos enfaticamente que você destrua qualquer televisão dentro de sua casa como medida de segurança para que não assista a essas transmissões perturbadoras. Se você vir um zumbi em sua casa, fuja imediatamente. Esses zumbis foram vistos pela última vez batendo no corpo de pessoas que vinham em seu caminho. As pessoas que foram atropeladas tiveram tripas e sangue explodindo de seus corpos e, como resultado, morreram. Para minimizar as chances de ser visto por essas criaturas, você deve se trancar em um quarto sem janelas ou qualquer coisa que o exponha ao mundo exterior. Traga suprimentos essenciais que durem pelo menos 14 dias, bem como um rádio à pilha para mantê-lo informado sobre as atualizações relativas a esse evento. Se você se recusar a seguir qualquer uma dessas instruções, estará colocando a sua vida e a de outras pessoas em perigo extremo, pois atividades que envolvam barulho podem atrair esses zumbis para o seu local. Até segunda ordem. Fique alerta, fique atento e fique seguro. El siguiente mensaje se transmite a petición del gobierno de Chile. Esta es una emergencia que amenaza la vida. Hace unos 50 minutos, ha habido muchos casos de personas que se convierten en estas criaturas parecidas a zombies cuando miran la aurora. Estas personas parecen tener algún tipo de movimientos extraños y parecen ser fuertes pero lentos. Las personas infectadas son capaces de levantar al menos 6 toneladas. También se han dado muchos casos de televisiones que emiten mensajes, imágenes y videos realmente perturbadores de personas siendo torturadas de diversas formas horripilantes. Algunas personas que han visto estas imágenes y videos se han suicidado debido a lo perturbadores que eran. Le recomendamos encarecidamente que destruya cualquier televisor dentro de su casa como medida de seguridad para que no experimente estas emisiones perturbadoras. Si ve un zombie en su casa, huye inmediatamente. Estos zombies fueron vistos por última vez golpeando a las personas que veían a su paso. Las personas que fueron golpeadas tenían vísceras y sangre explotando fuera de su cuerpo y como resultado murieron. Para minimizar las posibilidades de ser visto por estas criaturas, debes encerrarte en una habitación sin ventanas ni nada que te exponga al mundo exterior. Lleva provisiones esenciales que te duren al menos 14 días, así como una radio o pilas para mantenerte informado de las novedades sobre este suceso. Si se niega a seguir cualquiera de estas instrucciones, estará poniendo su vida y la de los demás en grave peligro, ya que las actividades ruidosas pueden atraer a estos zombies hasta su ubicación. Hasta nuevo aviso, manténgase alerta y a salvo. Het volgende bericht wordt verzonden op verzoek van de Nederlandse regering. Dit is een zeer levensbedreigende noodsituatie. Ongeveer één uur geleden zijn er veel gevallen geweest van mensen die in zombieachtige wezens veranderden als ze naar het noorderlicht keken. 
Deze mensen lijken een soort vreemde bewegingen te hebben en ze lijken sterk maar langzaam te zijn. De geïnfecteerde mensen zijn in staat om minstens 6 ton op te tillen. Er zijn ook veel gevallen bekend van televisies die echt verontrustende berichten, beelden en video's uitzenden van mensen die op verschillende gruwelijke manieren gemarteld worden. Sommige mensen die deze beelden en video's hebben bekeken, hebben zelfmoord gepleegd omdat de video's zo verontrustend waren. We raden je ten zeerste aan om uit voorzorg alle televisies in je huis te vernietigen, zodat je deze verontrustende uitzendingen niet meemaakt. Als je een zombie in je huis ziet, zijn dan onmiddellijk weg. Deze zombies zijn het laatst gezien toen ze mensen die op hun pad kwamen in elkaar sloegen. Bij de mensen die in elkaar werden geslagen, spoten ingewanden en bloed uit hun lichaam, met als gevolg dat ze stierven. Om de kans te minimaliseren dat deze wezens je zien, moet je jezelf opsluiten in een kamer zonder ramen of iets dat je blootstelt aan de buitenwereld. Neem essentiële voorraden mee voor minstens 14 dagen en een radio op batterijen om op de hoogte te blijven van updates over deze gebeurtenis. Als je weigert om deze instructies op te volgen, breng je jouw leven en dat van anderen in groot gevaar, want activiteiten die lawaai maken kunnen deze zombies naar jouw locatie lokken. Tot nader order, blijf alert, blijf bewust en blijf veilig. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Ministry of Defense. This is a very life-threatening emergency. Around 10 hours ago, there have been many cases of people getting turned into these zombie-like creatures when looking at the aurora. These people seem to have some sort of weird movements, and they seem to be strong but slow. The infected people are capable of lifting at least 6 tons. There have also been many cases of televisions broadcasting some really disturbing message images, and videos of people getting tortured in a variety of gruesome ways. Some people that have viewed these images and videos have committed suicide due to how disturbing the videos were. We strongly advise you to destroy any television inside of your house as a safety precaution so you don't experience these disturbing broadcasts. If you see a zombie in your house, run away immediately. These zombies were last seen body slamming individuals they saw in their path. The people that were body slammed had guts and blood exploding out of their body, and as a result, they died. To minimize the chances of you getting seen by these creatures, you must lock yourself in a room containing no windows or anything that will expose you to the outside world. Bring essential supplies that will last you for at least 14 days as well as a battery-powered radio to keep you informed on updates regarding this event. If you refuse to follow any of these instructions, you are putting your life and others in extreme danger as activities that pertains noise can attract these zombies over to you location. Until further notice, these instructions may save your life from this event. Stay tuned to local outlets for further information on this dangerous situation. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Prime Minister of Australia. This is a very life-threatening emergency. Around 16 days ago, there have been many cases of people getting turned into these zombie-like creatures when looking at the aurora. These people seem to have some sort of weird movements, and they seem to be strong but slow. The infected people are capable of lifting at least 6 tons. There have also been many cases of televisions broadcasting some really disturbing message, images, and videos of people getting tortured in a variety of gruesome ways. Some people that have viewed these images and videos have committed suicide due to how disturbing the videos were. We strongly advise you to destroy any television inside of your house as a safety precaution so you don't experience these disturbing broadcasts. If you see a zombie in your house, run away immediately. These zombies were last seen body slamming individuals they saw in their path. The people that were body slammed had guts and blood exploding out of their body, and as a result, they died. To minimize the chances of you getting seen by these creatures, you must lock yourself in a room containing no windows or anything that will expose you to the outside world.
Bring essential supplies that will last you for at least 14 days as well as a battery powered radio to keep you informed on updates regarding this event. If you refuse to follow any of these instructions, you are putting your life and others in extreme danger as activities that pertain to noise can attract these zombies over to your location. Until further notice, these instructions may save your life from this event. Stay tuned to local outlets for further information on this dangerous situation. <laughs> The following message is being transmitted at the request of the United States government. The Aurora has spread it over to many other countries around the world. So far, at least 27 countries, excluding the United States, have been affected by the Aurora. This process has been ongoing for the past four months, and we are still trying to find a solutions to hopefully resolve this ongoing phenomenon. Just note that evacuation will not be effective at all as this situation is expected to soon spread to all countries around the world. All commercial airplanes have been grounded until further notice due to not only the expectancy of the Aurora spreading rapidly, but also due to Aurora entities corrupting aviation signals while in the air. The only available survival method is to seek an underground shelter with essential supplies that can last you for a long time. If you see an Aurora entity, euthanize them immediately. These Aurora entities cannot be reasoned with or even be negotiated with. We don't have much of a solution to neutralize the whole situation right now, but we hired an expert team to help give us ideas to euthanize the situation. The only thing we can do right now is just stay safe and optimistic at this time. More information can be found on the United States government website. Stay tuned to local outlets for further information on this extremely dangerous phenomenon. message is being transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is an update regarding the ongoing Aurora event. The situation has worsened so badly that we and many others have decided to close down all businesses such as supermarkets, hospitals, and schools, colleges, and many more. Your local government will supply every sane person in the United States every two days. To apply for this, you must create an account for this website at www.usagov.com and put your address in the system so the government can deliver these supplies to you every two days. We have came to the conclusion that we may have to live the rest of our days underground to survive this situation. It has also been found the pictures of the Aurora can also affect an individual. It unknown how this is possible, but most likely what's in the Aurora. So far at least 500 million instances with the Aurora have been reported worldwide. There is still currently no solid timestamp of when the situation comes to an end. More information can be found on the United States government website more specific details about the Aurora. Stay tuned to local outlets for further information on this extremely dangerous phenomenon. I forgot to close the shaders of a window. For a bit of time it seemed so beautiful, 
And now it just doesn't feel like that anymore. Now I don't know why I'm having urges of killing others, but I have a feeling that I will understand it soon when I reach my final stage of the shitty bug in my brain. It has only been two hours since I looked at the Aurora, and I'm already losing an intense amount of sanity per second. At this rate, I'll probably go insane mode in about another hour from now. I just thought it would be a good idea to record this and inform others completely what it's like to experience this. Please share this around to everyone you know, this is something that just cannot be ignored. I might have to end this soon before I literally go insane, so, for the people watching this, please do not look at the aurora. It can turn into dopamine to pain within just a small amount of time. This is pretty much all I have to say, thank you for listening. This is it. We have completely surrendered. You will no longer be able to rely on the government for any legal protection. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the President of the United States. Our world is coming to an end. I repeat, our world is coming to an end. The Aurora has caused many devastations to every single remaining country around the world. We have completely ran out of ideas to resolve this phenomenon, as have valid of other state-level governments. It took us months to release it was already far too late to do anything about this phenomenon. As such, the end of the world is inevitable at this point. There have been many cases of people's houses being burnt down by Aurora entities. This has led everyone inside of these burnt houses to die from either the Aurora or the fire. I'm sorry, but this is what the universe chose for humanity. Because of the Aurora entities, your death will be inevitable. You guys will be given the options of 1. Commit suicide 2. Gather all of you family members and brace for the end 3. Do whatever you want. All laws in the United States have been suspended forever. Unlicensed firearms possessions are now legal for anyone over the age of 13. Once again, we are sorry it had to end like this, but we are completely almost out of resources. The chances of us being present on Earth next month are less than 10%. This situation unfortunately won't get any better as time goes on. There are officially no more safe zones around the world. Every place in the world has been affected by the Aurora. We officially now conclude the final activation of the Emergency Alert System. This is the Emergency Alert System, signing off forever.